the tiger by the tail here with is life and we're just excited that we have someone like Dr. Rouse to come on here and teach us, you know, about the scientific benefits of such unique ingredients. And I tell you, most people have never heard of fucoidin. A lot of people are just now starting to learn about uh, D3 and they're starting to learn about some of the other ingredients. But this is an amazing product. We are seeing lives change in a very short period of time. So tonight, Dr. Rouse, I wanted you to talk about something more specific to this product. Maybe this will help us to understand how this product is going to be so life-changing. So what is the magic behind polysaccharides? Why is this so unique? And why is this life so phenomenal? And we're going to turn this call over to you. Thank you so much, Dr. Rouse. Thank you, Gloria. I mean to tell you, we're going to have a, have a lesson tonight in glycobiology 101. And for the first time callers, wasn't that awesome from Texas? Uh, that, that young lady had, had me just want to take every single one of those products. She knows how to explain it so well. I, I just love to hear, hear things put so simply. Tonight we talk about what are polysaccharides. Well, they're glyconutrients. The word glyco means sugar, sugar nutrition. Most of us are very familiar with glucose. That's the stuff that runs us batty, that makes us get sick, that makes us not do well with our immune system. But guess what? There is a whole lot more to glyconutrition. Polysaccharides beat bacteria. And any time you can beat bacteria at their game, that's a good thing. And we're talking about beating bacteria and infections the natural way. Wouldn't it be neat in the years to come, and because antibiotics are becoming so so uh, difficult to take, the bacteria is becoming resistant to them, causing us to move to higher milligrams of the drug, causing us to give the patient way too many side effects. But I do, I do surmise that in the near future, we'll be replacing antibiotics with a few simple sugars. The medical world is the one who actually created the antibiotic fiasco because when they first came to the market, were very effective to defeat diseases caused by bacteria. Penicillin did what penicillin had to do. Erythromycin did what erythromycin had to do, and tetracycline, and on the list went. And then what happened? Well, the bacteria outsmarted us. The bacteria started adapting, and, and, and they made our prescription drugs, the omnipins and the erythrocins, all those things became less effective. And I'll be, the bacteria actually learned how to make us sicker. I remember way back when, when my mama and my dentist used to tell me that sugar would rot my teeth. And then what happened? Well, researchers started finding out there's a whole lot more to simple sugar, the natural sugars, than just that old glucose refined Dixie Crystal white sugar. And we're talking tonight about some of these healthy polysaccharide sugars. Think about xylitol. Earlier on the call, we, we learned that xylitol in that burst is unique, and it truly does protect the tooth enamel from decay. So going into that one sugar alone, we're learning that that sugar has a way of controlling streptococcal mucins, and by that, less chance of dental caries, less chance of enamel erosion, less chance of gingivitis, and all those other things. True it is that prevention is the better way to deal with infections. But how many times are we going to eventually wake up to the fact that we've got to educate the patient as well as educate the physician? And the truth is that knowing your enemy is the most important part in any warfare. We're at war with these germs, and microbes are getting smarter, and they, they very quickly outsmart the prescription drug industry. 
I'm talking about little bacteria in the human body are very smart critters. They know how to free up oxygen. They, they suck the oxygen right from the mineral system and make themselves more more oxygenated, stronger. And then they start using that that they got out of the minerals for their own energy. Bacteria have literally learned how to move around. They know how to, to ferment organic material. They know how to impart their knowledge. I mean bacteria literally go and attach whatever they're going to attach to. And the next thing you know, they have swapped their survival skills with other bacteria by sharing the DNA. It's like, well, that one just made that one smarter, and now they're both smart together. And when, when you know what one bacteria knows and the other bacteria learns it, they become a very, very tough enemy. So we're learning tonight how to fight bacteria with sugar. And these biochemicals, these biochemicals are actually sugars. And bacteria and the biochemical that's in a polysaccharide will literally interact very closely with one another. On the next slide, we start looking at how bacteria use sugars as their communication medium. The bacteria will link to a sugar in order to start communicating. But meanwhile, we have the right kind of sugars. There are eight basic, powerful polysaccharide sugars that are very favorable to our better health. And these sugars can start triggering major changes in the bacteria. By the way, this kind of science is called glycobiology, the study of bacteria and sugars. Now on the right side of the slide, for some that are looking at the PowerPoint and for those that are listening, I simply started listing some of the major sugars. And one of them is mannose. I'm talking about D mannose as being powerful. Galactose, glucose, xylose, all these basic, simple, natural sugars are in our benefit. On the next slide, we start talking about the eight essential polysaccharides. Now, these simple sugars are called glycoproteins. They have built themselves up, linked themselves together, and they're beginning to become very essential to your better health. And I emphasize the word essential. They are necessary, yet there are only two of the eight essential polysaccharides left in the standard American diet. You abbreviate standard American diet, S-A-D, very sad indeed. And we all know about glucose, the Dixie Crystal Refined White Sugar. It's the most common sugar on the whole world market. But let's go back to the glyconutrients. Our eight essential polysaccharides, they're going to go in and surround all the cells trillions of them in the human body and they are going to be what we call cell surface proteins. These glyconutrients are the body's major means of cell-to-cell -cell communication. It's like putting up a, an electrical fence and this one can now talk to that one because it's sugar-coated. And eight of the ten biomarkers of aging reversal are remarkably requiring sugar polysaccharides, the glyconutrients, the glycoproteins, including bone density. So yes, if you know somebody with, uh, with a weak bone system and osteoporosis or osteopenia is in their vocabulary, introduce them to the great is life the polysaccharide of bone density power. And I throw this in on the slide right here in the middle. Did you know that pasta, talking about an average uh, plate full of pasta, smothered with good old sauce and maybe a meatball or two here, that that pasta on that plate physically converts to one-fourth cup of sugar. That's a high glycemic index in itself. But naturally speaking, 
Tonight we're talking about the real good sugars. Naturally speaking, there are over 209 known yet different carbohydrates, many different kind of carbohydrates. And now we're beginning to see that these eight essential polysaccharides, these natural sugars, are the sugars that heal. So we go to the next slide and we learn that sugars, these eight polysaccharides, are like the letters of the alphabet. The sugars, when they attach to the cell structure, they start comprising the letters of cellular alphabet. And, and, and they exist right out there on the, on the cell surface. And as they start helping the surface cell-to-cell -cell communication to begin, they help the communication so that each cell within its own environment can also begin to speak to all the cells in a nearby environment. But as we learn, we find that the molecules of the bacteria or the molecules that's in viruses or the molecules that's in toxins, they have receptor sites. It's like the pieces of a puzzle. The, the jigsaw puzzle piece will only fit that one slot. And so it is, these bacteria, viruses, and toxins, they all have receptor sites that only one specific piece of the jigsaw puzzle will perfectly fit. And these polysaccharides are the link. They are drawn to these sugars. In other words, the bacteria wants that sugar to come fill its slot. And they just hang on to them. It's like, whoa, what's going on? Now, this amazing stuff called D-mannose, which is very rich in the is-life polysaccharide, it'll clobber a urinary tract infection, things that caused many, many difficulties over the years. I personally know of a family situation where a young, young child had been on so many antibiotics for urinary tract infection that her kidneys were beginning to dysfunction. And they were talking about very possibly having to do kidney transplants when that child was just a little bit older. She was wearing antibiotics out until the physician, studying glycobiology, learned about polysaccharides and started putting this young child back when she was preteen, adolescent, on d -manos. And today she is a grown, grown woman, a mother of three children, and guess what? She has not been on an antibiotic for a urinary tract infection since she was a child. But it was all because the physician understood the D-mannose, the polysaccharide power. And what happens? On the next slide, we start talking about these sticky sugars. You see the sugar, the polysaccharide, it goes into the urinary tract. Now these are free-floating sugars, and they have the ability to overwhelm the bacteria because they fit the perfect selector slot. And the sugar will begin to attach to every single receptor site on the bacteria molecule. Now the bacteria is no longer free to the body's cells, and it can't go and hook itself because it has no hookers left. Thus, it gets flushed right out with the urinary tract. The rest of the bacteria, because everything is now minimized in the urinary tract, the E. coli is being beat at its own game, the rest of the bacteria start getting bashed because things that are in the, in the polysaccharide family start building up the B cells and the T cells and the natural killer cells. And a good, wholesome, hearty immune system can go and eradicate the overreactive E. coli so they can no longer stick to the bladder wall. I'm talking about glycobiology to the rescue. You may know somebody who has been plagued over the years with urinary tract difficulty, and they have no idea how powerful a D mannose polysaccharide can be. And you know, we talked earlier about the other sugar, xylitol. Well, how many folks 
realize when you stop streptococcal mucin in its tracks, you're going to eliminate the major causes of sinuitis and sinuses that get inflamed and infected and otitis media, a middle ear infection. Wow, all of that because of sugar? Absolutely. Also on the next slide we talk about allergic reactions and asthma. You see, polysaccharide sugars are awesome. They stimulate the body's lymphatic system to drain out the overproduction of toxins. They start helping the body very prolifically remove pollutants, anything that would trigger an allergic reaction. Nip it in the bud with a polysaccharide. See, asthma can be, can be triggered by infections in the back of the nose, in the sinus cavities, in the upper respiratory, or other allergies to allergens. But I'm here to tell you tonight, these sugars, these eight polysaccharides can prevent the power of the streptococcal mucin that causes all of these nose and sinus and upper respiratory problems. So all the while we're giving ourselves a clean mouth, less chance of cavities, and all the while fixing what we know is in the back of the sinuses. On the next slide we just simply talk about polysaccharides. When simple sugars begin to combine in a chain and they're linked together with uronic acid, they're called a polysaccharide. Now polysaccharides cause your immune cells to be much more active and vigilant against bacteria, germs, and toxins. But it will not overstimulate. So let's say that somebody who had an organ transplant, a kidney transplant, they're going to be on a drug to try to reduce their immune overactivity. Well, these polysaccharides are going to be beneficial because they're only zapping the bacteria, the viruses, the germs, the cancers, the toxins. And all the while, they're not letting the body overproduction so that there's no chance of, of organ reject. It's real neat simplicity, but only God can do that because God is the one who made every single polysaccharide. They help in the prevention as well as in the treatment of infections. Saccharides are not antibiotics, but they're very powerful in doing for the human body what antibiotics cannot do. You see, these metabolic chains are very good and very safe. And I love to endorse and I love to get people involved in polysaccharides because I know there's nobody going to be allergic to it and we're never going to build up a bacterial resistance because of it and we do no harm, absolutely pure and very easy. On the bottom of this slide where we have polysaccharides, I want you to under hear this buzzword, beta-glucan, our product is wholesomely rich in the most fortified, powerful induction of beta-glucan. What is beta-glucan, Charlie? It's a subunit of an active polysaccharide. It's just one of those things that make polysaccharides work even more. On the next slide, and we're just going to move right on because what these polysaccharides can do. Now, you're going to hear us over the next year tell you that in his life, we don't just use one species, one particular species of, of the fucoidin plant. We use four specific different species because we're looking at the length, the short chain, the medium chain, and the long chain. We're measuring the polysaccharides with our instruments to see who has what. And the short change, the short chain polysaccharides are fantastic at anything that's itis. It reduces inflammation. So if you know somebody with Crohn's disease, ulcerated colitis, arthritis, gastritis, gastric reflux, or even the inflammation that comes because of high blood sugars, both type 1 and type 2 diabetics, they all benefit. Isn't it neat? that we're going to help a diabetic 
get healthier by giving them eight different sugars. <laughs> it's an amazing technology. Well, the medium chain polysaccharides on the next slide is is where where most vitamins and minerals only get the function. They're they're the like the ones that work on the outside of the cell. They try to keep osmotic pressure normalized. They try to keep the productivity of energy going. But guess what? A polysaccharide is unique in that it not only works on the outside, it's allowed to go on the inside. So it's very effective intracellularly. That means we can now take antioxidants, free radical scavengers inside the cell. Oh, isn't that neat? We're spiffing up the whole interior design of the cell. That means that we're going to be preventing, treating arterio. Arterio is the artery. Sclerosis is the hardening of the artery. Neat way to go in and spiffy up. Go to the inside and clean up, mop up, shape up. That reduces heart disease. That reduces a lot of the symptomatics of Parkinson's disease. And Parkinson patients are those that degenerate very fast. And if you don't give them polysaccharides in immense proportions, they'll get very sick very quick. But with a polysaccharide, there it, it's like a remission state that shows up for a long, long time. Anytime you give the cells better cellular oxygen, then you're going to go out and help the body to reduce the toxic overload caused by pollution. Polysaccharides are just designed to help everything about your immune system to be restorative as well as protective. I love the way the cells talk one to another. But now that we found that improving cell-to-cell -cell communication, that means you're not going to have any dead spots. You know, if you've ever been on a cell phone and you're out in the middle of nowhere, you lose the connection. Well, now we're talking about cells that never lose the connection. They're always vibrant. They're always productive. This is anti-aging. This is life extension. This is increasing the energy cycle of the mitochondria. This is maintaining much healthier blood levels of oxygen, cholesterol, triglyceride, blood sugars, homocysteine, C-reactive protein, A1C levels, better blood sugar levels. And I guarantee you, as soon as you start polysaccharide therapy, you're going to sleep more restful because your whole alpha, beta, delta rhythm is improved. You're going to strengthen the heart. You're going to improve the immune system. You fight any and every itis. As we heard Christina say, you got my itis out of my back. That's a good thing. Simple is life. We're treating the power of the itis. And anybody who's already going through menopausal symptoms, hot flashes, night sweats, mood swings, this is their product. Good way to enhance the power of memory because anytime you take the, the oxygen and let it flow smoother and reduce the inflammation, you think clearer and quicker. It's a great antioxidant and it's a great anti-anxiety. It's a great antioxidant and it's a great anti-stress. We're talking about the power of the polysaccharide. It'll improve your digestion. It is designed to detox the body to prevent and promote better health. It prevents kidney stones. Anybody out there that's battling the, the calcium oxalate kidney stone and the, and the um, fat tea deposit kidney stone, man, this is going to be neat for you. It helps the body because it helps the body to distinguish what it does belong there and what doesn't. And it knows how to eradicate. So we're coming down and we're realizing that, wow, polysaccharides help the skin. Psoriasis, eczema. It's certainly going to be the nutrition for the coming cold and flu season. It's perfect to prevent the recurrence of ear infection. That d mannose that's in that product is absolutely worth its money and gold. People with fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, lupus, and any other autoimmune disorder, they ought to see a major improvement when polysaccharides go to work. 
It'll repair the sludge and make the blood less sticky. That means less chance of blood clots. That means less chance of stroke and heart attack. And the whole while, when we were in Indiana this weekend, we encouraged one man in particular to get some in his life because if for no other reason, he had been under medical care for 12 solid months of trying to get back in wound care therapy. And I know without a doubt that polysaccharides are the major accelerator to the healing process. So where things don't heal like they ought to, polysaccharide to the rescue. And how about that? Everybody's listening. You get a diploma tonight in Glycobiology 101, and all we're doing is talking sugar, 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 and more sugar. Isn't it neat how only God can do that?